Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and this is a commentary on your court section, okay? Now, this person is saying that he was with the wrong crowd. That's what he's saying. But let's say that you have a mom and you have siblings and you know people that you like and they're all together in a particular place and you know that if you were to do something in that place where they're all gathered, someone could get hurt. Aren't you thinking like that? Don't you think like that? No, he threw a rock into a minibus. I mean, at no time when you pick the rock up, pull your hand back and swung it because it's not as though the minibus is right there in front of you. You had to use strength to do it and you aim. And you didn't aim to miss because it connected to the bus. You had to have known that a bus full of people, it was going to be a problem. Okay? So when he is before the magistrate, and the magistrate is saying, well, don't hang out with these people. And even the mom, the mom had to say, well, because the magistrate said, well, if you're going to play games, you can, you can go and play games. And the mom said, well, the people he's playing games with, they are the ones. So the magistrate amended and said, well, don't even hang with them. You know, so you have potential and I'm going to work with you. That's what the magistrate said. But how could you say just wrong crowd and throw a rock into a public service vehicle that is filled with people how, how do you even do that let's move down this guy is saying he's guilty of damage but not assault this is an ex-boyfriend girlfriend situation he's a whole 71 years old he is senior citizen okay senior citizen and she she and him broke up broke up but he still for some reason goes by her house and probably cooks and keep an eye on her who knows but she says she was going over to someone's house a guy's house to get money and they had an argument and this is what happened you know some damage and he didn't he, he said he did damage certain things and she claimed it was also the phone he said no i didn't damage the phone but you know again guilty of damage but not assault so that one is like he's not going anywhere you know just just don't do it anymore and then the siblings coming down they had a fight and you know one sister pulled a weapon like once the two live in the same house one insulted or disrespected the mother and then the other sister talked to her about it or you know challenged her she's gonna pull a weapon and you know, the, the, you know, so as she pulled the weapon and the cops got involved, that means there could have been some damage done to one of the sisters. It's ridiculous. It's these things are serious matters. Okay, so she, the judge is saying keep the peace. She's on bond to keep the peace, and they're still in the same house. How is that going to work out? And then this guy is on remand because he wasn't sure if she said yes. How could you not be sure if a woman says yes? If so, if you are doing something intimate like that, if that, that's an intimate kind of situation, you are not sure? You are not sure if you had permission. You're not sure if that's your girl. You're not sure if you were on speaking terms. You're not sure if it was all lovey-dovey. You're not sure. You are not sure. Now you're saying, oh, do not send me to Hotel St. Philip because my dad depends on me. I'm his caretaker. Didn't you think about that? That if someone were to call Red Stripe for you and they, and it didn't go in, in you know, it, it went south. You know, you're going, you're going down south to Hotel St. Philip. You're not thinking about, you know, your dad and how he's going to do when you're not there. You don't think? None of you are thinking? Is, it, is that it? That you're not thinking? So yeah, these one, two, three, four, these four were, these four cases were in your e-paper Barbados today. Not much meat, just, just, just this. But I'm going to see what appears in your nation news and I'm going to give a commentary on that too. But yeah, it's like you have to watch your thoughts. 
you, you have to really watch your thoughts and become accountable for your actions. You have to really become acquainted with someone. You you have to, you body language, body language. Just like know when you're in you're invading someone's space. If you're talking to someone like for the sister, the siblings, the sisters that have that that dust up. If if you you should know when one person say oh man i'm not gonna you know you're pushing me too far i'm in a corner here you should know how to read body language to know okay let me back up so that this thing does not go any further you need to mitigate damages you need to you need to know when to stop because although talking about the sister although one got violent and pulled some sort of weapon the other sister could have seen that it was graduating to that point you have to learn to read body language and the whole matter the one that was was sent up to your hotel saint philip you should know you need to know and the guy the 71 year old that's saying oh it was an assault or whatever he should know that when it's over for a woman it's over and she's gonna move the way she sees fit she, you know, they don't call, you can't call her back you can't call nobody back and then the wrong crowd come on man come on start thinking about your thoughts thoughts are always going to present themselves in your head always but you have to think and outthink that thought what well, if i do this this is going to happen my mom is going to hear about it my mom is going to be like so upset she's always talking in, in my ear do the right thing do the right thing and when if i do this it's really going to hurt my mom you don't have those thoughts you do not have those thoughts that it's going to hurt someone that cares about you you don't think that Sherry Veronica.